Good afternoon. Happy Thursday. We are about to go into a meeting with ACS for our virtual 5K. Yes, and these two just woke up from a long nap. Oh, did we now? some creamy lemon pasta for dinner tonight. Jamesy boy tried some banana today. It was a hit. Oh, toys. Alrighty, so the order of this vlog is going to be a little bit different than usual. Um, because we're going to talk about, um, talk about things and then show the footage from Peter's outing tonight. Um, for quite some time we've been wanting to talk about um, the just awful killing of Dante Wright and um, now today specifically the um, body cam footage of, of a 13 year old boy shooting yeah. came out by a, a Chicago police department. Yeah, Adam Toledo. So we've been meaning to talk about it and every day just kind of felt like heavy. Right. And today... And then we get to like the end of the day and we'd be like, we don't want to just throw this in at the end of the vlog. Right. Um, so it's been heavy on our hearts. We've been kind of, you know, uncertain of how to talk about it. We've been talking about these unjustified murders um, by police officers on social media, but we haven't brought it up. But it wasn't until today where the body cam footage came out and more details came out. And so that's been like in the background because it's been on the local news level. Mm -hmm. um, right, because it happened in Chicago. Mm-hmm. Um, and but so it kind of all came to a culmination today. Right. And so Peter went out, um, to protest in Chicago regarding, um, just regarding the police brutality and whatnot and heard stories of people, um, close to Adam. And it's kind of all just, you know, happening at the same time as the Derek, Derek Chavez, Sh yeah, Chauvin, Chauvin, um, trial is happening as well as, um, the murder of Dante Wright. And so on our channel, like we will always show you what we're doing in our daily life. And we're trying to, now that we're in a, a neighborhood that we know in a community that we're, we're now going to be establishing ourselves and we're going to, we're hoping to get more involved about a bare variety of things because we know a lot of things start in the community. Mm -hmm. And um, no matter what the details of any of these instances are around the country, um, we have a policing issue in the United States. Mm -hmm. We have a judicial system that does not work for the people. Nope. And I think the quickest and best solution is in the community first. Yeah. And here, Black Lives Matter, we are, you know, we feel very strongly about this. And we feel very strongly that our channel is not just the best of times. We wanted to share this experience. We will most likely be going to more yeah. um, more events like the one Peter went to. I think I tonight. mentioned it when I was walking around, but there is a scheduled like vigil slash march tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, there were some kids out tonight, but I didn't know it being the first protest I was yeah, going I to. Like feel it out a little bit. Um, for Chicago, I, mm -hmm. I wanted to feel it out. So now knowing a little bit more details and the organizations that are attached to tomorrow's event, I think all three of us are going to go. Yeah. At least to start. Too, seeing the different organizations that are active, um, following more on social media and kind of just getting a feel for it because Orlando is a much smaller city than Chicago. Um, but we also are very passionate. We will never know what it is like to be people of color in our country and we will forever be allies and forever c continue the conversation here because yeah. it's, it's not something that we can just turn a blind eye to. There's been some higher tension in Chicago with the police force due to a 13-year-old boy that was shot and killed amongst a lot of tensions with Chicago police and the neighborhoods and everything, but there are some marches and protests going on that I'm going to go check out, as well as a vigil for the 13-year-old boy tomorrow that I think we're gonna go to as a family. So that's where the night has 
evolved into. All right, so we're downtown. I think I see one of the protest groups. It's crazy to, like Sarah just texted me, I was like, it's gonna feel weird to be doing something familiar like marching, but in a familiar place that you've never, in, in Chicago, but something that you haven't done in both. And it's definitely strange because in Orlando, it's a big city, but it's not huge. And when I was doing the, the protests last summer, there was like some like two main groups organizing things. So Chicago is so vast. You know, there's there was protests I saw on the near north side in Millennium Park, down Michigan, near City Hall, out in Little Village, all these different neighborhoods. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Which one? 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 It does not mean anything to us. We look for temporary satisfaction before everlasting progress. This protesting is temporary satisfaction. Going to school, changing the laws, that's everlasting progress. Because my daughter can grow older and understand policy. She can understand lobbying and screen fear. She can understand the laws. And she won't be as fearful of the police. Because a father like me, Father like y'all, brothers and sisters like y'all are educating the people in your household like the young people. Education starts with everything. If you can control your mind, you can control your future. If you don't believe in yourself, you can't believe in your future. It doesn't make sense. So we gotta be stopped. We gotta stop being locked in the past, thinking about what we could have did or what we should have did. We have to learn how to forgive and let go. Because we're walking around with so much emotion, so much hate, so much frustration in our heart, we can be found our blessings. We gotta go from emotion to wisdom. So it's, it feels very surreal and strange to be going to protests in a different city in a different year for basically the same reason, but regardless of the scenario, the details behind it, there's a justice system and policing system vastly wrong in America and probably the greater world, but definitely at least in America. The same stories resonate from Central Florida, Orlando, to uh, all the way here to Chicago. I hear these people in the communities here and the stories, people who've been here their whole lives. There was a speaker at the end there of the march who just talked about where the solutions are and it's not in the cops, it's not in the systems, it's not in the government. The best way to fix a lot of these who's advocating is in the communities. It starts and ends in the communities. It's just, it's a hard day after seeing the events transpire over the past week. And these events transpire every single day. They just don't get the air time, or the, the Twitter time, the online time. But these events happen every single day. And it's very sad. And I guess, I, I think, to do my part is just education, education, educate myself, be more involved in the community, educate James, raise him in a loving and accepting way. But it was a hard day, hard week. Um, but I think I'm gonna head home. There's another protest still going on right now, closer to Chicago's main police headquarters. Um, but that's a little too far. That's the, the, uh, the difference between Orlando and here is um, I could get from, the, usually there's only like two in Orlando and I can get to them pretty fairly quickly and easily. I can still get to it easily from where I am, but I don't know if by the time I got there, how long it would be going on. Like I kind of showed, showed up to this one kind of late. Um, but they were all peaceful and you know it's important to look at the organizers when you go to these things because you can see a lot of different things or or disparaging things that aren't necessarily the true depiction online but 
look at the community leaders, look at the organizers. And it was, it was educational. It was, it was peaceful. It was trying to send a message to the community at large that we have a policing issue. Kids need to stop getting shot. People of color need to stop being shot and killed. And we just need to do better. Alrighty, April 15th. Elegance is when the inside is as beautiful as the outside. Coco Chanel. Here's our sleepy baby. So I already watched this week's episode of Fall Man kind of technically and Peter's mind didn't come out yet because I didn't go to bed yet on Thursday. So it's not Friday even though it's after midnight and it posted to Apple TV Plus and it was a wild episode. Comment below if you watch Fall Man. Next episode is the season finale and I'm already perturbed because I'm ready for season seven. There's seven seasons? No, this is only season two. <laughs> We also got news today that our Andrew McMahon in the Wilderness concerts were canceled. Not canceled. They were rescheduled. So this, on the grand scheme of everything we've talked about in the blog and everything that's yes. actually important is in the bottom. And because of that, I think it's a combination of because of that and because I just don't want to accept it, I keep literally forgetting. Yeah. So. Well, I feel like things have been heavy and that's been like what we've been. That's like what we've been looking to. forward been to. Like, oh, we're, we're taking Eve. Mm -hmm. We're taking James. We're driving it's his to Detroit. Birthday. We were gonna see our favorite artist both nights. Yeah. In an isolated in a social pod. distance pod. Um, but numbers in Michigan for COVID are too high. So they push it's it back. Smart. It's smart. It's it's a good call. Tell them when they push it back too. So like right now. Our tickets aren't canceled, even though it right. would probably work out financially better if they were. Yeah. They're delayed. They're delayed for when we're in Disney World. So we can't even go to the so like, pushback show. Again, we feel very like we're complaining because we wanted to go on our little trip. And oh, it's like, being rescheduled during our big trip. Like, So, like... It's very grounding to understand that it's not... That is privilege. Yes. um, And it is not... The end of the world, but no. that occurred today. Yeah, and I keep we, we have to figure it all out. Like we have to cancel the Airbnb. You have to actually. We're waiting here from Ticketmaster to see. We they might give us the option to cancel, but because it's not canceled, just delayed. Yeah. They might not. I think it's up to Andrew. Um, tomorrow's Friday. That's a win. I just need. I have like two meetings. I'm really not looking forward to tomorrow. And I might have some weekend work already that I'm aware of. Wow. So I just need it to be like 5 o'clock tomorrow. Right. But definitely a week of perspective. Yeah. Um, and we're just, I don't know, we're pretty, like, we're pretty darn grateful for just this. Right? Yeah. And Evie. She's over there just. Good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>